the purpose of this whole Git workflow thing and having the different branches is each of those could be a different environment that we deploy to. So uh, if we look at this diagram, we could actually, when anything is merged into the develop branch, automatically deploy it to our development deployment environment. Like we could actually push this to the web. It'll have a special URL that really only de the developers or the, the testing team know about. So that way we can actually test the app as it is deployed out in the real world, but it's not actually production. It's like um, development.codinggarden.app. Um, and then the other thing is staging. So staging is a totally separate environment where we can make sure that what we're about to release actually works out in the real world. So typically staging is an exact copy of the production environment. It's the same, uh, type of Linux server, the same image, or it's the same Docker container or Docker host, or we're using the same type of database. It's just a separate one that is specifically only for staging. And when we merge into the staging branch, we can have automation set up that automatically deploys that uh, out to the web. And then the same thing with master. So what we're saying is master is in line with our production environment. So anytime something get mer gets merged into master, that's what's going to get pushed out for the world to see, and that's what is in actually in production. Um, we don't have that automation set up just yet. Simjohn is going to be working on that. I'll, I'll, I'm going to help him out with that because I'm like getting all the uh, hosting accounts for stuff. But all of this uh, code reviews before we merge, it highly, highly relates to our environments because we're not we're, we're going to set it up so that when things are merged in, it automatically deploys. So. These, these checkpoints, we really want to make sure that the code is good, it's working, it passes the tests before we allow it to be deployed into that environment. Yeah, and Contoli is saying, uh, what about making an insiders or beta version of the app? Absolutely, and, and these environments play into that as well. We can have it set up where we can give out a build of the app that's pointed directly at development. So it's the latest and greatest features, um, but as a tester, you're allowed to use it. Um, and then we could also have like the beta version or staging version, which has, which is pointed at our staging environment um, that has the latest release, but which the release, which may not have made it to production just yet. But absolutely, once we've set up those environments, we can give someone an app that isn't the one that's in the app store. It just has like the latest features or something like that.